Welcome back to Business Process Modeling with BPMN. We'll look in detail at end events. The basic form of an end event is a circle drawn with a thick line. The empty form of the end event indicates that the activity simply ends without triggering any other action. You might also use it by default in the early days of investigating an existing process or designing a new process before you've determined all the details. As with a non-form of start event, we can call this the non-form of end event. Other types of end event include message end event and the terminate end event. As with the start events, we'll look at other forms later. Use the message end event if some form of message is sent to an external party, for example, a customer or supplier, when the activity finishes. As with message start events, an external party may be someone in a different organization. More generally, that any party outside the process, i.e. outside the process pool. Note the difference between the message start event, with the thin circle and light colored envelope, and the end message event, with the thicker circle and the dark envelope. Label the end event to describe the message that's sent. For example, delivery advice sent. This may be referred to as the result. Use the terminate end event to stop the entire process. All the activities, even ones that haven't completed. Let's look at a few examples of how end events can be used. To set up the examples, we have a fragment of a process with three activities, A, B, and C, operating at the same time, concurrently or in parallel. In this scenario, the non-end event will terminate the flow exiting from activity A. The other parallel flows, i.e. the sequence flows from B and C, will continue. In this scenario, the sequence flow out of A will simply stop. The sequence flow from B will stop with a result, a message being sent. The sequence flow out of C will continue. In this scenario, the terminate end event coming after activity C will not only end the flow coming out of C, but will also cause the other two flows to immediately terminate, whether or not they had completed. All three flows exiting the activities will immediately terminate as will any other activities that may be happening elsewhere in the process at the time the terminate was reached. If you use the terminate end event, remember to check that you really do want the entire process, all the activities, to immediately stop. Thanks for watching.